with your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Wysocki Electric. As the weather turns nasty, make sure your home stays nice with a standby generator from Wysocki Electric. Visit WysockiElectric.com today to see how we can protect your home today. I certainly hope you're taking advantage of the beautiful weather out there today. It is phenomenal. No matter what you have planned today, I hope you get out there for at least a half hour, an hour, do some exercise, take a walk, doesn't matter. I want you to remember what this feels like and, well, when the weekend comes, kind of go back to that in your mind because it's not going to feel anything like this. Our real feel temperatures are going to go through the roof and our comfort factor is going to go down the tubes. I'll tell you what else is down the tubes are allergies. It's been like a month plus of this nonsense. The tree pollen is extreme, the mold is high, luckily we don't have the weeds or grass pollen as an issue right now. Temperatures across the area, 68 in Philadelphia, 69 in Atlantic City, 74 in Washington, 64, or 63 rather, in State College, 61 in Pittsburgh, and 60 a little bit cooler up in Binghamton. Rain shower chances. We have some showers that'll be coming through tonight into early tomorrow morning. That's why we're gonna bump tomorrow to a 20% chance, not an all day thing. We are dry on Friday, an isolated shower on Saturday, then showers and thunderstorms possible on Sunday afternoon and evening as a cold front comes through. And we could be looking at uh, some stronger thunderstorms with that, but it's off in the distance and uh, we don't wanna really focus on that this far out. Anyway, partly to mostly sunny out there today. Here comes that little wet weather maker, some scattered showers late tonight early tomorrow morning, but we are not expecting that to be uh, an all day thing. I think by lunch, it is likely clearing out, if not before that, and then going into uh, Friday, we are good. Saturday, we're good. It's Sunday, again, that we'll be uh, watching closely. So tomorrow morning, about 59 degrees as we wake up. In the afternoon, I fully expect us near 80 degrees. We have the clouds and shower chance in the morning. We're gonna try to transition over to a partly, maybe even mostly sunny look in the afternoon. And then for the evening, we slowly back down into the 60s for some, 50s for other. Already almost to 90 degrees on Friday, 85 does it. It's gonna start getting sticky. It's gonna start getting uncomfortable around here. Why is this happening? Well, it's a ridge. High pressure sets up offshore off the coast of the Carolinas and is going to be pushing the jet stream well to the north. Now we had a pattern similar to this last weekend, but the reason we didn't get that warm was because we had an upper level low that was just kind of plaguing our area. But the good news is high pressure is going to be dominant here and it's going to be building for the entirety of the weekend. So that means our temperatures are going to get very, very toasty and it's just going to be a, uh, prelude to what's coming our way, I think, for the summer season with the high humidity and those higher temperatures as well. Look at those, dew points, 65 on Saturday and Sunday. And that means it's going to feel like we're in the mid and upper 90s across the area. Look at that, Marlton, 99, 95 in Trenton, 97 in Hamilton. The shore is definitely the place to be as you will get that relief. Sweet, sweet relief. 94 on Saturday, I think we do 90 on Sunday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms coming in in the afternoon. And then we're back down into the 70s.